Good morning. Today we're at Walmart. We're going to check out some of the things you guys have asked about. Check some of the sale prices. Check the shelves. Let's get to it. Since we come into Walmart here, I wanted to show they have their pound strawberries for $2.42. Uh, we saw that at Kroger it was $2.99. I will say though, for the two pound strawberries, they are $4.74. These were on sale at Kroger for $3.99. Look pretty good. It does look like they have a pretty decent deal on blackberries. $2.28 for the small batch here. $4.24 for the 12 ounce. So we noticed grapes have gone up at Kroger on pretty much all of them are $2.79 a pound right now. Um, they do have some different prices here. $2.08 a pound for these red grapes, and it does look like they went up on the green ones. $2.28 a pound. I'm pretty sure that these will go up too. They just haven't got to that yet. So I got here pretty early because I wanted to see if they would have more stuff. Um, but I'll tell you what, they're out of a lot of apples and a lot of other things. Um, bagged honey crisps. These are a lot of the bagged ones, but they do have the Fuji down here. They're out of the Gala, which is pretty surprising. Uh, now, we've seen that Kroger and Meyer both have sales on Gala. The best sales were at Kroger this week, 99 cents a pound. Some of you guys were asking about the package tomatoes, the snacking tomatoes. $1.50 here, and I gotta say, I've tried these before. They are pretty good. Um, half the price of what you're gonna pay at Kroger. But as far as the rest of the tomatoes, you know, we're still out of season on tomatoes, but they don't, they don't look all that great. But these snacking tomatoes look pretty good. These are the organic Del Monte bananas that I was talking about. Um, yeah, these aren't looking as good now as they did before, but I will say these have tasted a lot better than Chiquita lately. They are 62 cents a pound, so a little more expensive, but my opinion, they're a lot better. So we see they have their bagged russet potatoes for $2.57. Uh, there is a deal going on at Meyer this week for $1.99 for a five pound bag. And they have their 10 pound bags for $5.97. So you're not really saving much by getting that. Uh, if you have a Meyer near you and you need potatoes, I would go there. Also today is February 17th, 2022. To give you an idea, uh, Meyer sale will be ending Saturday night. So I would get there before then if you want to get the deal on the potatoes. One thing I wanted to point out was butternut bread is a little cheaper here. It is up from what it used to be of $2.19, but it's $2.26. And Kroger's is $2.39. So a little bit of savings there. We've gotten some comments on great value bread. The one thing is that we haven't seen it in a long time. Like they've actually starting to get it back in. Uh, 98 cents a loaf that's a pretty good deal i've tried the white bread before it's okay i've tried the wheat not so much but the white bread's good uh, butternut's better i mean i like that better but it's a lot cheaper you do have to really look at all the tags at walmart when you're here so they have they still have the thomas plain bagels for three dollars and 48 cents uh, of course they don't have any of them um but they have the Different kinds here. The Everything Bagel is $3.48. Uh, cinnamon Swirl Bagels are $2.28. So the Cinnamon Raisin, I guess that would... Yeah, Cinnamon Raisin. Um, $2.28. So it's even a little cheaper. So this might be an option. I know we got a lot of comments on the Thomas Bagels since they've gone up pretty much everywhere to $4.19. It's a pretty good deal. But as you can see, people have found out and now they're buying them up here. We do notice that the Egos have gone up. They do have them in, but they were $2.49, now $2.68 here at Walmart. And the buttermilk, uh, the 24 waffle pack has gone up too, from $4.99 to $5.62. So some of these prices are starting to rise. We have to keep our eye out. Now they do have the great value waffles, which, you know, they've been getting more and more of these in. We've gotten some good comments on the great value. Um, I've never tried them. Uh, I'm an Ego fan, <laughs> but uh, yeah, probably try them here at some point. And that is a great deal if they're pretty good. Two ninety three on the twenty four of the blueberry waffles of the great value. Those are the kind I usually get of the Ego. So yeah, might try that. Save a couple bucks. Some things you may just want to spend a couple extra dollars 
because it's something you love. I love blueberry Eggo waffles. That is something I would spend an extra dollar or two. So look at this. Looks like we're getting a bunch more Jimmy Dean in. Wow, this is good to see. We've gotten a ton of comments over these over the last month, them being out completely. So Walmart is another option. Also, it's looking a little cheaper here for an eight count, $10.98. We saw that that was $13.99 somewhere. I believe that was Kroger. Not really sure. Maybe these prices haven't gone up on this yet. Not really sure. Look at this too. 12 count family pack for $16. They have really spread the ice cream out like none other. Like this whole middle section here was never here. This was kind of spread out down there. And they've got, you know, very limited on some things even their own brand this would stretch for a few cabinets now we've gotten a lot of comments on the briars i'm not a huge briars fan um look at this though just two rows well okay three i guess you go to kroger's this is completely full and this kind of worries me a little bit with the homemade ice cream because this is a local product this is made by united dairy farmers it is a little cheaper here than they sell it at United Dairy Farmers. It's normally like six to seven dollars uh, for one of these half gallons of ice cream, 15 quarts. But uh, as you see here, Turkey Hill has been another one that's been an issue. Trying to point out a couple things that we haven't seen lately uh, and some of the things you guys have asked about. This is one of my personal own here that I've been seeing less and less and I can't find my peanut butter chip anywhere. One thing I wanted to point out about the Tyson chicken nuggets that everybody always talks about, we saw that these are $7.99 on sale at Kroger, going up to $8.79 for the regular price, $6.42 here for the regular price at Walmart. That is $3 off the regular price at Kroger. This is what I was saying. This, you know, when I did this, when I was showing this at Kroger the other day, I couldn't believe how high these were. And uh, Walmart does seem to have quite a bit of the Tyson chicken that you guys have been asking about. They got the chicken patties here. Some of these prices are, you know, I don't know if they've just started to raise them here. They have the spicy chicken patties, $6.52, and the regular, $6.52. Um, but some of the things like the chicken strips, $8.43, that's up. That's a little higher, so they may just not have gotten to these yet, which wouldn't surprise me at all. But this is the most Tyson chicken, frozen Tyson chicken that we've seen in a long time. I will say they have quite a variety of the Totinos everybody has asked about. They even have the uh, four packs that we haven't seen in a while. Um, we saw a couple at Kroger not too long ago, but they were a little more expensive. $5.28, I think they were $5.99 at Kroger. They do sell the single packs, $1.50 a piece though. They do have the 12 packs that people have asked about of the Hot Pockets. And one thing we're noticing is they're getting more brands in here. This is kind of like what I was talking about. I believe that they're going to start selling more and more like this, kind of like Sam's Club. It is $12 now, though. It was $10, $10.98, I believe. Yeah, $10.98, which they still have on this ham and cheese one. But they've gone up on the other ones here uh, to $12. And this, you know, that could be a mistake. They might have all gone up because that's the only one that says $10.98. But that's the same thing. So what I would do is, if you are here, what I, what I usually do is I'll take a picture of it to show them that the price is still on there and match it with this. But keep in mind that they may not do anything about it because all the other ones say $11.98. That is something where I really wouldn't argue because that might have been a mistake. They just forgot to put it on there. And I don't want to cheat them. You know, it's like, if that's the price, that's the price. We know that this is not a lot of the store's faults. The stores are going to try to keep the prices as low as they can because they want you to shop there. That being said, I may be mistaken too, so you always want to make sure you take a photo if it's in question. Chances are they'll probably give it to you for that deal. We've noticed that the smaller 50 count of the Totino's pizza rolls have gone up. Uh, these were $3.49. When me and Jess were here just a couple weeks ago, we got a bag for $3.49 because they didn't have any of the bigger bags. Um, but. 424 yeah that's that's gone up quite a bit some of you guys were asking about tater tots and fries and the lack thereof i will say that they do have some hash browns potatoes potato products seem to have been really hard to get in lately uh, for whatever reason um, fries and stuff like that they're hard to keep in 
because when they do get them in, they get bought up because we haven't seen them in a long time. So people just seem to buy them up right away, and then it, then it's hard for them to get another load in. But they do have some of their great value, um, which I've heard is pretty good. Uh, hey, look at that. They do have our rally fries, which are up to three dollars and twelve cents. These were two sixty nine, two sixty nine when we were here a couple weeks ago, up to three dollars and twelve cents. Bags of one hundred and thirty uh, pizza rolls for ten dollars and forty four cents. I feel like that has been the same. Uh, so they're keeping the bigger ones down at least until they change the prices. I don't know, but that's a pretty decent deal. Some of you guys have been saying that vegetables, frozen vegetables, have been very low around where you live now i gotta say we haven't seen too much of this problem um i mean it is lower than normal i would say at walmart on a regular day but you know it, everything's just kind of hit or miss anymore um but they do have a good amount here and this really hasn't been too big of a problem at kroger either um meyer yeah a little less than usual but yeah they do have a lot of their frozen fruits and the uh frozen vegetables here at walmart so this is an option I will also say it looks like Stouffer's has visited Cincinnati here in a lot of the stores. We're noticing more and more variety again. Uh, we noticed this at Kroger the other day, or not Kroger, but Meyer. The that we have started to see is the Healthy Choice meals. Now they have gone up here at Walmart. These were $2.79 a piece. Now they're up to $3.12. They don't have many, not as many as they usually do. And look at this. They have condensed their Lean Cuisine aisle next to nothing. I mean, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about Lean Cuisine and it basically leaving your store. Well, you know, if Walmart can't get it in, I don't know. Like, they have just a couple little rows. They're sharing with Healthy Choice here. That's, that's how low it is. Um, you know, they do have some. Boy, not many, though. We've been seeing that it's been crazy low at a lot of stores or none. This is one thing with Walmart. It doesn't seem like they really have any sales on steak. Every now and then you'll find something like this. Oh, Chuck Rose, $5.97 a pound. I stand corrected. Two and a half pounds for $14.39. Okay, that's a lot cheaper than it is at Kroger right now. It's $7.99 a pound. $7.99 a pound is ridiculous, but hey, you know. Uh, cut T-bone, XL, 947 a pound. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. I don't know. I guess I, uh, 11.47 a pound for ribeyes. Those have been like 14.99 some places. So usually all I ever see are the big 10 pound meat hamburger. Looks like they're starting to make the 73.27 in the 10 pound tubes. $25.82. It's not a bad deal. We did get some good comments on their tubed meat. Unless it's for things like like if you're just making like a regular hamburger, yeah, I don't like the two meat. But if you're making like a meatloaf or something, you know, it might be good for that. Never really tried yet. Um, they do have the 8020 for 3128, which is actually down from like 32 something that it was the last time we were here. So yeah. And again, on most of the meats here at Walmart, you'll never find a really big deal. Um, but they have it, you know, I mean, Tyson, Tyson had the thighs on sale this week at Kroger, buy one, get one free, so keep that in mind, um, and, and they're a lot lower than I've really ever seen it here at Walmart, usually this is packed to the gills, a lot of people might have bought it up, uh, so, you know, it's always kind of hard to tell. We did get some good comments on the three pound bags of the boneless, skinless chicken thighs of the great value. $6.64 for three pounds. I will say though that, man, they, I guess they just can't find nothing to put in this case. It's pretty empty. So I remember the other day when I was showing the crab legs at Kroger, the two pound, how they were 31 something, $32. Well, here's two pounds at Walmart, Sam's Choice for $33.74. That is absolutely insane. One of my favorite foods, and I just refuse to pay that much. So I don't know if you guys remember a couple months ago when I said we were going to be seeing more and more of these bag cereals in stores. Uh, this is pretty much triple what Walmart had before. This used to be in the middle aisle of the cereal down there. Now it is all down here because they have a dedicated section to trying to get cereal as cheap as they can to you. Uh, there's some pretty big bags, some 
I won't go over each one, but yeah, I knew this was going to happen. One thing that has been a major issue around our city of Cincinnati here is getting in juice. However, I will say, this is the most juice we've seen at Walmart or anywhere around here in a long time. So this is good. Hopefully they're getting it back in. They do have the Dole pineapple cans, the big ones here. Uh, 46 ounces for $2.98. Man, that's a pretty good deal. Somebody was asking about those. They only got two of them. Uh, they've been out for a long time. One thing that some people have been asking about is to check the coffee. Uh, somebody had mentioned Folgers. Now, I we haven't seen much of an issue with Folgers. Um, I am noticing some crazy prices on it, though. $8.92 for that. I guess that's the breakfast blend. you got to check every tag. So, okay, these bigger ones down here, they're $12. Um, they seem all... Oh, look. Somebody was asking about the decaf. Now, it's $12 for that decaf. That is... That's crazy pricey. They do have the smaller decaf ones here. Uh, one of our longtime viewers asked to, for me to check out the decaf, preferably Folgers, I think it was. Uh, Walmart has them, so you may want to check your local Walmart, see if they have them in. And we'll keep our eye out for that because, yeah, we've been seeing less and less decaf coffee. I don't drink decaf, but I know a lot of people out there do. Here's the instant decaf, $7.00. I guess decaf is just more expensive. Maybe it's harder to make. Uh, not really sure, to be honest with you. Man, $12 for this Colombian. And this is the regular size, not the large. Oh, it's a little bigger, I guess. 37 ounces. I did find the great value decaf, too, here. Uh, $2.98. They only have a small can of it. But $2.98 seems like a decent price. Don't know much about the flavor. Pretty sure part of why all these chips are gone is because the Super Bowl was last week, so they're probably taking a while to repack. One thing I will say though is that these ruffles, I know that seems like a small bag, don't it? $3.48 here. $3.99 uh, was the sale on Kroger for ruffles. They are going up to $4.79 a bag. $4.79. I like ruffles, but I don't like it that much. Now they do have a sale, looks like a sale. Uh, rollback sale at Kroger or Walmart here on the Doritos for three dollars um, You know, they're up to three ninety nine regular price pretty much everywhere. So I don't know It's something we're gonna have to keep an eye out on. I know everybody loves their Doritos seems like we have a lot of ranch Dorito fans in the uh, on our channel here but yeah, it's pretty low I know like crackers and cookies and stuff like that continue to take major hits here at Walmart. Uh, we've seen more at Kroger probably. Um, they do have these huge goldfish things. Somebody was asking about these a little while ago, the big goldfish cartons. $7.78 sounds a little pricey, but I never really buy these, so I don't really know uh, if I was going to get these. I'd probably get the Mickey ones <laughs> just for Jess. And they do have the smaller bags of them here, not too small, uh, 7.2 ounce bags for $1.98 a piece. Don't seem bad. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever tried any of the great value sliced cheeses and if they're any good because they're $1.84 a pack regularly. And we've seen that cheese has been $2.29 at Kroger, $2.19 I think at Meyer, and it's like I, we never buy any great value cheese so I don't really know so yeah let me know down in the comments definitely a lot cheaper uh, Kroger's does have a sale on their cheeses this week the eight ounce packs four for six dollars so that's a pretty good deal but I may start buying some cheese here somebody was asking about the Kraft singles not too long ago they have quite a variety here at Walmart and they're all three dollars and 48 cents for the 16 slices now, if you guys remember the other day I was telling you how Getta, the Gleer's Getta, that is pretty famous here in Cincinnati. They've had a lot of sales on it, less than six dollars, always been six forty-nine. I said it was going to be going up, seven dollars and thirty-eight cents now here at Walmart. So I may actually go to Kroger today and buy a couple extra and just freeze them because you know I love this stuff and yeah, seven seven dollars thirty-eight cents, pretty expensive. They do have a few biscuits got some of their uh, butter grands, the different biscuit grands. Not much, but at least they're getting a few in. We do see that our Ice Mountain 35 packs here at Walmart have gone up. They were 528. Now they're 588. 
still worth it. I mean, Kroger's right now as a regular price is $4.79 for 24 of them. So we buy ours at Sam's Club usually, $5.98 for a 40 count, but it is an option. They are really starting to kick Gatorade to the curb. It is, I don't know if they just can't get them in now or if it's, these are all the multi-packs. Um, but as far as like the singles, look at this. They were $1.18. See, they still have an old price here. This ain't the price. They still have an old price. They went up $1.34 a piece and less ounces. Uh, this is 28 ounces. Uh, the norm was 32 ounce bottles. They've made it less and made it more. I'll tell you what, that's, that really just kind of throws me off. I really just don't even want to support it anymore. Um, but, you know, when I find a good deal, I will. But it's like, this is just, it's like a double-edged sword. You're getting less and paying more. It's, you know, they should be happy that we're just still buying it. So with Pringles going up to an extreme high, um, I do, so the, the Lay's, I knew this was going to happen. Um, these were $1.19 and then went up to $1.29 like a few weeks ago. Now they're $1.48. $1.48 for Lay's. I mean, I, I would rather just spend the extra $0.20 cents and get uh, Pringles. But we always try to find the sales on those. The Mega Stacks, uh, buy five or more and save a dollar each at Kroger is still going on where you can get a third more size. Brings it down to $1.19 a can. So that's, that's the sale of the week. Okay, so since I was down this far, I wanted to go ahead and slide over and check out some of the cat food. And I will say, they got a lot more than they had in the week before, a couple weeks ago. Um, they are moving stuff around, I've noticed here. These Sheba packs were always on the top row, along with the Fancy Feast. They are kind of spreading it out to fill it in more. But even with that, we see more Fancy Feast here than we've seen in a long time. And Friskies, you know, Friskies been doing good. Um, you know, there are some pretty big gaping holes here, but uh, the important thing is is that they, they have it, you know, and it's like, I know it's been a struggle across the country, you know, being able to get in pet food. So I always try to point it out when I can get over to it. Um, you know, Friskies, Friskies versus Fancy Feast. Which does your cat like more? And we didn't see hardly any of the Tidy Cats cat litter that a lot of you guys have asked about um at kroger which you know a lot less here too but it is a little cheaper 10.98 for one of these we saw that was 11.99 at kroger so yeah way higher there i want to show that walmart has been getting in a lot of oil lately i guess they got the memo cooking oil they have the gallons back in the vegetable oil the great value is seven dollars and 56 cents that seems like a pretty decent deal uh, the Crisco vegetable oil, uh, man, one gallon for $8.98, that's pretty good. Uh, we saw that the 48 ounce at Kroger was going up to $4.99, so only $3.99 here. Um, yeah, it's good to see. They must have just restocked this because this was empty a couple weeks ago, but it does look like they are getting some more spices in. We noticed that this was almost completely empty a couple weeks ago, and they have the McCormick back in, which these are a little cheaper than they were at Kroger. I believe I paid $2.99 a piece for these at Kroger. $2.49 or $2.99 definitely wasn't $2.08. Um, good to see they have these back in. The Spice Massacre is leveling off here at Walmart. They got our Del Monte vegetables that everybody likes. $1.18 a can. And we saw they went up at Kroger. Two for three dollars, right? Make it look like a sale. $1.50 a can now at Kroger. Which is crazy, but it is what it is. $1.18 on the regular price still here at Walmart. So they do have a good amount of the big boxes of ramen, which was what most of you guys have asked about. Looks like they've got those stocked up. They are low on a lot of the bags and stuff like the six packs they do have a lot of the cups up here and they have some of the creamy chicken 28 cents we saw that was 29 cents at meyer walmart continues to be very low or completely out of spaghetti it just it is what it is i mean it's not just walmart it's everywhere right now they actually have a few things of the dechecco here actually about the same price as it is everywhere else, but you can see there's there's not much. There are a few cremettes, none of the Walmart great value spaghetti, um, except for like shells and stuff like this. Somebody actually asked about these, I think. They do have them here, 82 cents for the shells here at Walmart. 
Um, and they got the cremette thin spaghetti. And one thing of the regular spaghetti. Oh, there's a couple back there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Actually, that's a pretty decent deal, too. Dollar twenty four. I believe that was a dollar sixty nine, seventy nine at Kroger. I did want to quickly show that Progresso and Campbell's Chunky is a dollar ninety eight a can for either one at Walmart. Now they do have two for four going on right now this week at Kroger of the Progresso. Chunky has gone up to two fifty nine a can. Two fifty nine a can at Kroger, and the regular price of Progresso at Kroger is two forty nine. So those are going to be the new prices. But they do have this two for four dollars. Thank you to who left that down in the comments. Guys, that's going to do it from Walmart. Uh, prices are on the rise for sure. Uh, every store we go to seems like every couple days things are going up. Uh, nothing we can do about that. All we, you know, all we can do is try and keep track of the sales when they're coming up, how they're coming up, how we can get the best deal. But anyway, thank you all so much for joining me today. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure. Is out there.